it's very important that we keep a good attitude about things. So when you're in this space of waiting and watching and learning and discovering and paying attention to what your path is, the number one thing you've got to cultivate through all of it is gratitude. You can't be in there like, oh, this job sucks. Oh, it's unfulfilling and, and it's just to make ends meet, right? Because now you're disdaining what you have. And then on top of that, saying this, and inside I know there's something so much more inside of me as if to disdain what you have, as if to say what I have is not enough and there's more inside of me and thus I resist the place I find myself. In a place of resistance against what you want and also it's resistance to be reaching for this so-called something more inside of me, right? Which is, you got to remember, that's a feeling too. It's a part of the seek for novelty in our ADHD, give me more good feelings culture. So, you know, I kind of don't buy it a lot of times. I get it. I used to say it all the time myself. And I understand why we say it, but it's such a perverted way of speaking, seeing how things have gotten so strange. There's something inside me that's so much more. Well, is, is that saying that what's in front of you is less, is no good? And so that puts you in a state of resistance, right? You don't even know what that thing that's inside of you more is. You know what you just know? What it's not. And you focused on what is not, which is what you got right now. So you can't get there from here. You got to be in acceptance and, and gratitude about what you've got. And then also with that same line of thought, being open and receptive and grateful for what's being revealed to you. Are you following me? Instead of reach, instead of resisting and reaching, you open up. He says, but I'm having trouble embracing the struggle of building a new life from zero and from nothing into something that I could at least be satisfied in. Well, I'm going to work backwards on you. Fuck satisfaction. You don't need to be satisfied about anything. There's nothing, satisfa there's nothing satisfying about busting up your muscles in the gym. You do it because it is hard work. You do hard shit because of what hard shit yields. So, you know, you want satisfaction and you don't want trouble of embracing the struggle. Well, that's what it's all about. One of the best ways to approach a situation like this is to turn off your thoughts and to turn off your feelings and to be totally engaged in embracing the struggle because with your thoughts and your feelings you could tend to build castles and end up somewhere that you don't really belong right that's why i said during this phase of your your new journey you can't be attached to anything because anything goes it'll start getting clearer once you round the clock 28 29 30 ages so embrace the struggle Build a new life from zero and start at zero. Don't you know that everybody that's at front of the line started at the back of the line? You don't even know what, what my life was like when I was 25. It's tough. Every generation is tough. I don't want to denigrate what you got going on, but it's very different and it wasn't easy. I think what happens too is you guys live, you grow up in a time where you're looking at other people that's showing you how easy and fun their life is, you know, and so there's a lot of FOMO. There's a lot of like, oh, I'm not there yet. I need to be there yet. I need to be there now. I don't think I had that same kind of pressure when I was 25. I didn't have like a Mangazi type kids, you know, 21 year old millionaires, uh, you know, showing us how smart and evolved and, and wealthy he is on YouTube. I didn't have that. I didn't even know that it was a thing that could be a possibility. So one of the things I think that sucks for you guys is that you got a lot, you have way too many distractions, shiny objects and people that throws you off your path. Be fully engaged in what you're doing. You, your girl, your little apartment, get a job and, and do the job well and pray and be open. Be open for God's light to, uh, to illuminate the path that you walk on. Be grateful every day and ask him, thank you. Thank you for showing me things that I need to see to illuminate my path and turning me away from things I shouldn't see 
and hear and do that would turn me away from my path. It's a position of your heart, brother. It's the, it's the posture of your heart that matters more than anything. Embrace the struggle and stay free. Done. Porn. 68% of church-going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur, caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be, to live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.